Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for May 8th, 9th, and 10th, the weekend, for my Aquariuses. Hello, my sweet Aquariuses. How are you? Anyway, you know I use my two Radley Valentine decks. For the weekend, I use my Angel Tarot cards for the main message, and then I try to pull just one from my Archangel Power Tarot cards. I've prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay? Okay. Yes, things are opening up. The energies are getting lighter. Um, not to say that we won't cycle back, but for right now, things are opening up. You, It may not be affecting you just yet. But, um, or I mean, you may not be able, you know, to able to leave just yet. Um, you may be still working out of your home, and I thank you for that. Or you may be an essential worker, you know, leaving the home, and I thank you for that too. But in general, I feel like the energies in itself should be, um, they're normalizing. They're not normal, but they're normalizing. Anyway, I have three cards face down. The first and third are reversed, so that means stronger energy. I am an intuitive um, channeler, and I open myself up to my higher power, and whatever the message is that needs to come through, it comes through. So let's see what we have for my Aquarius's first card reversed. Here we go. The Knight of Earth, Earth Energy. Okay, now my, my Aquarius is, you've been heading towards your path. You've been heading, you've been like running. You've been, you know, maybe, maybe even if you've been in, held inside, it's like your spirit has just been pushing forward. Now, Earth Energy is, of course, our Taurus, our Virgo, our Capricorn Energy. It's solid energy, something, someone you can touch. A lot of times this has to do with money, which has to do with jobs and opportunities. And I've been, you know, my, my, my Capricorn, my Capricorns, something about Capricorns? Hmm, my Aquarians, don't know what the thing, but this is a, this is Capricorn type of energy. And, you know, so, well, you know, be a Cap, you know, there may be something that a Capricorn is going to help push you through this. There's some energy, you know, Jupiter is in Capricorn right now, so that could be pushing you through that. So there's something to do with that. Don't know what that's all about, you know, but. Let's complete that thought. Okay. Anyway, my Aquarius is, so there's, you know, you've been doing your work. You've been thinking about what you want to do. And this, this seems to be more with that solid type of energy. Again, it's, it doesn't, it's not so intellectual. It's more actionable type of energy for you. So this weekend, this is like you look, you, t you getting prepared to take action or you actually taking action. A lot of this has to do with also movement. I'm feeling movement to a new home, new job, new place, new state, new country, new, 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 new type of energy. And if it's not actually being acted upon now, it you're you're really thinking seriously about this, okay? And you're maybe taking the small steps so that the big steps, when things open up for you, you can do that. Okay, loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. A guardian angel. Reach out. Guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, your divine, whoever that is for you, your higher power. Next card up is the chariot. Now, chariot, archangel energy, archangel Metatron. Okay, so very strong, very divine type of energy. Now, there's also, you need to, you need to take, you need to be, you need to manage these changes. You need to take some control over your life with these changes. But the chariot is also, to me, always something that's going to move faster than maybe what you're prepared for. But whatever this is, this is time to buckle down and get things done. And this also is kind of that time to buckle down, but on steroids. This is that higher, take some control, take, you know, be in control, be in control, not take be in control, you know, um, you don't, my, my Aquarians, you don't need to necessarily, um, you know, you're not in control of that other energy, that other person, that other job that, you know, the only person you can control is you and, you know, and you can, you have to be, you have to live your truth. There's so many of you that have that have, um, and I don't know if so, so whoever needs this, there's so many of you that have conformed 
to somebody else and it's really crushed a lot of your spirit. Okay, whoever needed to hear that. So this is again, taking back your control and you moving forward into that place that you want to be. Okay, because I really feel, my Aquarius is I really feel breakout moments for you. Um, an important achievement, self-discipline and willpower. That's one thing too is that you know, my Aquarians, you do need to have, you know, once you get that idea, you have to kind of follow through with it or follow up with it unless it's no longer something you want. Okay. Anyway, your last card reversed. And here is the nine of air, your energy. Now, this is also Libra and Gemini thought processes, hearing news. And this is about you. You know, this is kind of that thing. When I said, you know, the self-discipline, willpower, and, you know, like you need to act. The thing about it is that many times over, my Aquarians, is that you have felt that you've tried and that it just didn't get you anywhere. You know, but the thing is, when you stop trying, that's when you really stop. Okay? That's when you really go nowhere. But, but, at that same time, sometimes you do have to slow yourself down for a moment and reach out and meditate, connect, okay? Sometimes you do have to still your brain, your mind, your spirit and make that connection and put it out there. This is a great time to do that because we still have that full moon energy from the 7th, that'll be the 8th, 9th, and 10th. Put it out there what you've been wanting, what you've been looking for, okay? Put it out there what your soul, your spirit, what your heart has been desiring, okay? So anyway, the nine of air is expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies. Now that means because you, you know, it's kind of like, oh, I really want this. I want a new car. Oh, but I don't have the money. Or I want a new job, but it won't come to me. Okay. Right there is your self-fulfilling prophecy. You know, I want a new job. What do you want about that new job? I want a new job that's going to pay me really well, have good hours and not treat me badly or you know and actually that's kind of sad isn't it that's going to treat me with respect and appreciate my work how about that so that you know that's that, those are the difference in what you say okay let's go on so this weekend there is there is movement for you there is change for you there is almost like it's a it's a change of perspective we've talked about that too so you continue you still continue with the same energy the energy hasn't necessarily you know shifted dramatically but it is picking up steam and it, it you are putting more action behind your wants your thoughts your words okay your last card is reversed here we go and here is the king of michael again your energy okay and the king of michael principled rational ambitious respected these are the things you want like when i was talking about that new job this is what you want. Wisdom and, and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity. A situation that calls for open, for honest and open communication. Maybe that's the other thing too, is maybe what you are doing now, you want some changes, but maybe it's more that you want those changes in what's happening now. Maybe it's not so much that you want to change. You know, a lot of people, they want some new starts, new beginnings, because they haven't dealt with what they actually have now so this could be a really good weekend to deal with what you have now so that you know and if that's personal relationships that's personal relationships if that's something to do with your job or your family then it's something to do with that but maybe you need to have some honest conversation again too you can only control what you can control don't be hurtful but at the same time it doesn't mean that they that that you have to be hurt either hurt either okay so weird energy, different energy, but movement for you. So my Aquariuses, remember the buttons down there, the thumbs up, no thumbs down. You know, there's lots and lots of wonderful readers, gifted readers out there. So if, if this isn't your bag, if I, you know, if this isn't, go ahead, you know, you'll find that person. You'll find that right one. Anyway, my Aquariuses, as always, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.